Opening up the athletics program in lane two. They're away. Fleming got off to a good start on her inside Lewis. Clover Court also got off to a very good start. It's caught just in front. Fleming on the outside coming at it, but Clover Court's about a metre in front of Fleming, getting close to home. And Clover Court wins at two metres to Fleming. And third placing was Lewis in lane five. Clover Court, very good performance, 13.07. But Jane Fleming, I think Kerry will be reasonably happy with that start. I think she'll be reasonably happy. I think she would, probably would have been um, rather to have been up around the 13.07 part. But Clover Court got a great start, and she just took it right out there. Very, very good run from her. Jane didn't get the start probably that, that Clover got, but she did run on very well. Yes, of course, Jane Fleming is the defending champion in the heptathlon. Now, that event... The, uh, the 100 metres hurdles, she finished with a time of 13.32. That was just 0.3 seconds out of gaining the maximum points. So after the, uh, the first event, she's on 1,077 points. Clover Court from England has the maximum points, 1,114. Of course, uh, Jane Fleming, one of the most focused athletes and also one of our most popular athletes you'll see at these games. She really is a champion. Okay, now the next event is just as grueling. It's the high jump. Let's go back to Centennial Stadium. There has been a little bit of early drizzle, but conditions very bleak and cold here at Centennial Stadium for the opening day of the field events. So Jane Fleming with the bar now at 174. She's cleared 162, 168 and 171 after a shaky start. She was hoping to, to do round about 175 or better. She does look a little bit tentative on the runway since she got to 177. Can she overcome a, a psychological barrier here? This would be a tremendous boost for her in the competition. Come on, Jane. In close. Yes, great jump. Great jump, Jane. So that's going to be a big psychological boost for her and great for the confidence. On her last attempt at 177, over she goes. She cleared 1.84 in May at Gotsis in Austria in the famed multi-event championship. Over she goes. Two PBs. A PB. Two PBs. So that's a PB in the hurdles, a PB in the high jump. And Catherine Bond Mills is really on fire at the moment. So there's the official result of the high jump. Bond Mills, 1.86. Fletcher 1.83, Henry 1.80, the young New Zealander, and Jane Fleming, a very respectable 1.77 metres. Yes, Jane's jump giving her 941 more points, but that jump by Bond Mills setting up a terrific tussle. The next event is the shot put. Let's see how Jane goes there. So Jane Fleming of Australia now with her first attempt in this women's shot put. The third event of the heptathlon and Jane really looking for a big effort here, Gary, she after needs falling something. behind in the high jump. Yep, she needs something. She can't afford to go any further behind. 38, 44 points behind. She needs a big throw here. Quick across the ring. Good drive. It's a, it's a big throw. That is a big throw. Great start for Jane. So now, Catherine Bon Mills, the leader in the women's heptathlon, 44-point lead over Jane Fleming, who's... First put, 14.1 metres. Very close to her PB for Jane. Let's see how the Canadian replies here. Her personal best, 14.07. Can it be three in a row? No. No. It's down a bit. Jane's got a break on her here. That's only about high 12, so not a good throw first up from Catherine Bond Mills. And this really has opened the door a little bit for Jane. And tremendous news for Jane Fleming. Her first throw of 14.1 metres has given her a 93-point turnaround. So she's 49 up now Good on throw. arch rival Catherine Bond Mills. Good throw again from Jane. Up round just under 14 metres that time. Didn't quite push across the circle as she was just making hand signals to her coach, Craig Hilliard. Got to be quick across the circle. Lower your centre of gravity and push up. And if you watch, slides across. Gets down, pushes up, plenty of shoulder in it. That's the difference between Jane and some of the other girls. And she's actually leading in the shot put. And she'd be one of the smaller girls out there. So a top effort, very explosive. A disappointing first up put of 12.69 for Catherine Bond Mills. 
which has allowed Jane Fleming to take a commanding lead in this shot put competition. Can she reply here? She'll need to, uh, Gordon, because if she doesn't, she's going to find it slipping away very quickly. Tall girl, she should have an advantage here, but doesn't really use her legs at all. Just tries to use all in her arm. Let's see if she can do a little bit better this time. Has a personal best of over 14 metres, but nowhere near it. That's a better one. That's a better throw. That's uh, right out there again. She's back in it. So there's the overall standings, and it's Catherine Bond Mills leading Jane Fleming, Denise Lewis from England, and Joanne Henry, New Zealand, in fourth place. A field of 13 in the women's heptathlon situation after three events, one more today. Yes, and in that last event, Jane blitzed them in the practice throws, and she did likewise in the event proper. Well, we've already had the hurdles, the high jump and the shot put. Now, Jane must line up in the 200 metres. It's back to the track with Peter Donegan. Down on their blocks for the start of the second of the 200s in the heptathlon. Fleming in two, Clover Court in one, Catherine Bond Mills in three. Away, Fleming got off to a pretty good start. She's catching Catherine Bond Mills already. Clover Court's going pretty well in lane one as they come towards the turn into the straight. Fleming running well, headed off Clover Court. Bond Mills has dropped back about seventh as they enter the straight. Fleming takes over. She's having a great battle with Clover Court. They're going hammer and tongs. Fleming's just in front of Clover Court. And the Australian's going to prevail. Fleming wins it from Clover Court. And third placing in the race has gone to Lindsay with Bond Mills running on strongly over the final 100 metres. 24.07 the time for Jane Fleming. Yeah, she probably would have preferred it a little bit faster than that, but that was a great tussle out there with Clover Court. It was good running, Jane. Terrific to see two great athletes battling it out. You can see that uh, Jane is feeling the strain of the last of the four events today, 24.06 officially for Jane Fleming of Australia. Now, before that event, Jane Fleming was eight points behind Catherine Bond Mills. There is four events now gone, four more still to come, and Jane holds a 47-point lead over the Canadian. And I've got to tell you that the, both of those women throughout the day are on target to break Jane's games record of 6,695 points. When we return to Victoria, Canada, final swimming from the Saanich Pool, these are the 15th Commonwealth Games. A very big challenge coming from Catherine Bond Mills of Canada. Yeah, Jane holds the, actually holds the game's record 6.78. She won the gold medal in the long jump in Auckland. Hasn't been jumping anything like that of late. In fact, this has been becoming for her a bit of a problem event. But I know Jane is a clutch performer. She'll come through and she'll come through on this long jump. On the runway, plenty of speed. She is fast. Good takeoff position. And that's a good solid opener for Jane. She'll be happy with that. It's over the six metre mark. So the Canadian crowd now urging on Catherine Von Mills, Jane Fleming, 6.29. Best jump so far, Denise Lewis, 6.35. Here she goes. She's got the all clear from the officials, but... It doesn't look to be out there, Gary. No, it'd be barely six metres. I don't even think it would be six metres. So this is great for Jane. 6.29. Bond Mills below six metres, I would think. So Jane in a very strong position now. She can really ram home this advantage that she has coming into the javelin. They're fairly even in the javelin, the two girls. The big problem is going to be in the 800 metres. 5.94 metres. So Jane Fleming getting a very vital break here after the first attempt of the heptathlon long jump for women very big jump here for Catherine Bon Mills but Catherine Bon Mills really has to pull out a big one here she's going down the runway moving a bit quicker this time oh that's a better jump that is a better jump than her first one I don't know how much better but it is a better jump probably about six meters ten she's a lot happier with that she was a lot quicker on the run up and what more positive that time the front of the board Nothing much to spare. And 622. Joanne Henry, 622. That's much better. And that will make up a quite a bit of leeway. Fleming has a 629. It is her last attempt, but she really needs everything here because the 629 has given her a 22-point advantage over Catherine Bond Mills. 
who still has one more jump to go. But as we've mentioned, she's feeling a lot of pain in that left leg, Gary. Yeah, it seems like as she's running down, it's almost as though she doesn't want to jump when she gets down to the board because you can see that it is giving her some problems. It's not the same Jane Fleming on the long jump runway these days, but Jane's tough, and I'm sure this last attempt will be her best one. Now, come on, Jane. Really run hard. Hit the takeoff. Very strong at the takeoff. That's a better jump. I think that might be a better jump. 6.20, only 6.20 for Jane, so she'd be a little bit disappointed with that. She's got to regroup now, go back out, and get it together in the javelin. She's got two events to go now, the javelin followed by the 800. Jane Fleming, 6.29, so gaining further ground on arch rival Catherine Bond Mills, and she now takes an overall 69-point lead with the javelin and the 800 metres to come. Yes, Bond Mills is very strong in the 800, so it's going to be a thrilling conclusion to that. And isn't Jane Fleming tough? She's really had trouble with injury ever since she won the golds in Auckland four years ago. Well, forget about the calendars and all that stuff. Jane is here to make headlines for the right reasons. Kellogg Sustain presents another profile of a champion. Our most versatile athlete, Jane Fleming, will not only compete in her favourite heptathlon, but also has a 1990 Auckland gold in the long jump to defend as well. She'll also contest the 100 metres hurdles and is a member of the 4x100 metre relay team. Let's hope she's rewarded with as many trips to the dais as she has events. Take a good look at this. It's a rare moment to catch Jane Fleming at rest. Matt, my boyfriend, and Carolyn would just always call me the whirlwind because I come in and I'm just like, it doesn't matter whether I'm making dinner or whether I'm sewing something or I, I'm not really very good at just sitting still. I always have my day very full and, uh, and I enjoy that side of things and, and maybe that's one of the reasons that I enjoy the heptathlon. It's quite time consuming and I get to go out and challenge myself and do lots of things and whirl through all the events and things. And it was the heptathlon of the 1990 Auckland Commonwealth Games which catapulted Jane Fleming into the sporting limelight. In Auckland when the national anthem was played and like I was the one that was responsible for it to be played and that was just unbelievable. Oh, this gets me nervous talking about all of this. Um, I'm, I'm confident but I'm confident but I also have to try and make sure that I don't become arrogant about it and, and complacent because doing seven events anything can go wrong. Look what happened to me at the Olympics. You know, and honestly, if you had have asked me after the Commonwealth Games in 1990 where I would be in 1992 at the Olympics, I would have thought I would have won a medal and I didn't even get over the second hurdle so, or the third hurdle. I think I made the second. Yes, the Barcelona experience was unfortunate, but Jane has well and truly bounced back and is also after a medal in the 100 metres hurdles. I really like hurdling notes, something that I've always been good at. You know, that's how I started getting a bit of success in little athletics when I was eight and nine years old and um, sort of it just kept coming through and that's probably my strongest event in the heptathlon. It's really interesting when you hurdle because when you're on your marks and you look up then you see this kind of tunnel that the hurdles makes and that's where I really just try and keep that tunnel vision going so that all I'm interested in is what I do and if I concentrate on someone else it's not going to get me the best race out of myself. Indeed, Jane is the national champion. While also successful in the long jump at Auckland, Jane won't be competing against longtime friend Nicole Bogman at Victoria. It's interesting that we all do different events, so we don't compete against each other. And uh, I think girls tend to be a little bit too bitchy to be really good friends with the other people that they compete against. <laughs> Jane shares a house in Melbourne with distance runner and also longtime friend Carolyn Sawallo, and they live the clean life. We don't eat bad food. We, we sleep where it's to be in bed for 8.30 every night, and we never do anything bad. And then you get up at 2 and go out. Absolutely. Yeah. Jane is on a three-year plan, culminating with the Atlanta Olympics. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I'm really...